Lena, thank you. Train service along the Orange County coast is back open this morning after a landslide took out the tracks in San Clemente. KCAL News reporter Amanda Sarantino is live with more on the reopening. A lot of people waiting for this one, Amanda. A lot of people, and it's been a huge inconvenience with it closed for the last two months. We just talked to people that just hopped on the train leaving here at 7:12 a.m. The Surfliner going down south towards San Diego, and they couldn't go through that San Clemente area. So a lot of them had to find other ways to get around, and it hasn't been easy. I'm a freshman at San Diego State, and I live in Long Beach, California, and it's usually like an hour and a half drive, but the train is a lot easier to get there because I have two little brothers, so my parents don't have to come drive and pick me up. The train takes 15 minutes to get to the town to San Juan Capistrano from here, and if I take a bus, it's an hour and a half, you know, so. Oh, what a mess for them. Well, passenger rail traffic has been closed for almost two months because of all the storms we had late January, leading to mud and hillside debris falling onto the tracks. Freight service has continued through this time at night, but only with constant inspections on those tracks. Emergency work to repair the tracks and build a barrier wall has been ongoing since and actually just wrapped up. The Orange County Transportation Authority worked with Metrolink to build a 200-foot-long wall at Mariposa Point. This area is a privately owned hillside that started to fall in San Clemente after after a January 24th landslide. Since it is privately owned, all Metrolink can do is build a wall to try to keep mud and other debris from falling from the hillside that continues to move. So the wall they built is only a temporary solution for a bigger problem of moving hillsides. The Orange County Transportation Authority and its partners are working with local, state, and federal stakeholders for some long-term solutions here. One of two studies is already taking place with listening sessions available to the public. Now back out here live in Irvine, these studies are aiming to protect this rail line for the next 10 to 30 years but for these passengers right now they're able to now get back on their normal commute which is great news for them so this is available once again to all Metrolink and Pacific Surfliner passengers live in Irvine I'm Amanda Starantino KCAL News Amanda thank you